Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my 2022 computer science desk setup. This is everything I use on a daily basis as a computer science student and remote software engineering intern. Everything is linked down below in the description if you wanna check it all out. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, this entire desk setup is located in my bedroom. You guys normally see the complete opposite angle from my desk where you can see my bed and background. This camera angle right now is the complete reverse of that. In a perfect world, I wouldn't have my desk in my room. It would be nice to have a dedicated home office setup, but you work with what you got. My room does have this slot in the back where the desk fits perfectly within, which is pretty nice. Speaking of the desk, this is the fully Jarvis standing desk with a bamboo top. I got this two years ago when I was moving into this apartment after my freshman year of college. It's been great so far. I basically have no complaints. I love being able to switch between sitting and standing mode. It makes a pretty big difference to my overall energy levels throughout the day, especially when I'm coding from home. Normally, I end up staying here for seven to eight hours, and if I sit for too long, I end up getting back pain, neck pain, my legs start cramping, it's just not a good situation. I usually end up switching between sitting and standing mode every 45 minutes to an hour. It just gives me a little burst of energy throughout the day. I feel like we really don't emphasize the importance of daily energy enough. Like energy management is just as important as time management. When considering my day, I usually see time and energy as two axes on a plane with time multiplied by energy equaling total productivity during a work session. You can spend hours working, but if you're falling asleep, you can't focus, it basically means nothing. My philosophy with going all out on a desk setup is that it supports and encourages high energy levels throughout the day, which end up adding a multiplicative effect to your overall productivity. It just makes working a lot more comfortable and enjoyable, which makes it worth it. One great feature of the Fully Jarvis is that there's multiple settings right here, so you can easily change to different heights within one click. It's fully automated. I also think I did a pretty good job with cable management. Like there's only one cable that goes down from the power hub to the wall. The Foley Jarvis comes with this mounted holder underneath that stores a series of power outlets which powers everything on the desk. So everything on this desk is powered by the desk which means that there isn't a thousand tangled cables underneath going to the outlet. Next up we have this giant gaming monitor, the Samsung Odyssey G9 49 inch 240 hertz 4k ultra wide gaming monitor. This thing is a beast. I got it in January when Shopify gave me a $500 credit to put towards upgrading my desk setup and I put all of that in to this monitor. I originally heard of this through MKBHD and Unbox Therapy and I've been drooling over it for years. It's astounding that I'm in a position where I can finally afford it. This thing makes coding, video editing, writing an absolute dream. I can put my IDE on one third, some notes in the middle, and stack overflow on the right. I also use this tool called Moom which lets me divide up the screen really easily using keyboard shortcuts. It just takes a few clicks to create a perfect layout. For video editing, I often expand the whole timeline across the ultra-wide monitor which makes editing really fun and easy. The chair I'm sitting on right now now is the Herman Miller sale. You know, I got this chair before Ali Abdal got it. So unlike most of the other similar items in my setup, maybe he copied me. For years I've wanted a Herman Miller chair and the sale had great reviews and it wasn't as insanely expensive as the Aeron or the Embody. Plus it has a sick web design in the back which is why I went with it. I have zero complaints. Since going with this chair, this desk, this monitor, I've had zero back pain or neck pain. The purpose of a nice desk setup is to remove as much friction as possible from working. It gets rid of so many of the small problems I usually have. You don't realize how efficient it is on a daily basis unless you intentionally think about it. When I'm not at my desk and I'm working on my laptop, I get wrist pain, back pain, neck pain. I don't have enough space for video editing. Often the lighting isn't great. A desk like this is an all-in-one package that takes care of all of those problems. I was originally writing this script in a coffee shop and within five to six minutes I started to feel some neck pain, some back irritation. This never happens to me when working from an actual desk. If you're a computer science student, I would highly recommend investing in an external monitor, an external keyboard and mouse, and a nicer office chair. Your back will thank me. Okay, the laptop powering this entire setup is the 14-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro 2021. I've talked about it before. It's a laptop shop if I sent me to use while I'm working for them. Normally I use a 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's gotten kind of slow and annoying, especially compared to this beast, but it's fine. It works for now. I'll probably end up upgrading next year when I start working full time. I really like this monitor laptop lifestyle. It's so easy to unplug it, slide it into my backpack whenever I need to go somewhere. And when I get back, it takes two seconds to dock it and plug it in. It's like having a laptop and a desktop in one. I'd highly recommend it. I swear to God, this monitor 
behind me keeps turning off. Okay, for the keyboard, the mouse, and the webcam, we have the Logitech MX Suite. The keyboard is the Logitech MX Keys, the mouse is the Logitech MX Master 3, and the webcam is the Logitech Brio 4K. So many of these items have been in my mind since I was 13 or 14 years old. Like I've watched tech YouTubers for years and they've all raved about the Logitech MX Master 3. It definitely lives up to the hype, kind of surreal that I have it now. Some of the great features are the program Logi options, which allows you to map certain keys on the mouse, like the middle key and the thumb key to whatever application you want. So for example, in Final Cut Pro, I've set the wheel key to make cuts and the thumb key to delete from the timeline. So I can single-handedly fly through the timeline and make edits like a maniac. It's incredible. Both of these I can connect to my other devices using Bluetooth. So I usually have it mapped to my laptop, my phone, and my iPad. And it's super easy to press one button and switch between your devices. The 4K webcam was sent to me, no surprise, by Shopify. A good webcam is a must for working remotely. You're on camera during meetings for half the day, so you might as well at least have good video quality. I feel like now that I've worked for a remote company, it's really jarring when people have pretty bad video and audio setups for Zoom calls. I've gotten used to all the beautiful software engineering desk setup. The audio equipment I use during Zoom calls, another flex, is the Shure SM7B microphone. Normally I have this bad boy mounted to my desk, which is what you see in my normal shots. If you know anything about podcasting audio production, you're going to recognize this microphone. This is the one Joe Rogan uses, MKBHD. Pretty much half the biggest podcasters out there use this microphone. It's an industry standard. Normally it's connected to the Cloudlifter CL1, which boosts the gain as this is a really power hungry microphone. Then that goes into the Focusrite 2i4 Scarlett, which is an audio interface that converts the signal into something my MacBook can understand. The audio interface goes into the computer, which allows me to access it for recordings and calls. It's so fun to use this setup during Zoom calls. Like people will recognize the microphone and speculate in the chat as to whether I'm a streamer or a podcaster or something. Also, it makes me sound a lot deeper and more masculine. <laughs> Oh yeah, in terms of speakers, I don't have any. I've just been getting away with the basic speakers on the MacBook Pro when it's docked. It's funny, like a lot of these products are top tier, but essential ones like speakers, I just haven't gotten around to getting. For headphones, I normally use these Audio-Technica headphones. I think I saw them on a podcast and just picked them up. I use them to monitor audio levels when I'm recording videos. And if I need pretty good standard headphones for video editing or watching anything on my computer. This giant lamp over here is the Carex Daylight Bright Light Therapy Lamp. And it's one of the best purchases have ever made. Let me explain. So when you're a computer science student, software engineering intern, you end up spending a lot of time indoors hunched over your computer coding. And especially during the winter when it's dark outside, you don't get a lot of light during the day. And consistent white bright light throughout the day is really important for your circadian rhythms, for your dopamine testosterone production, for your melatonin production. Basically, you're screwing yourself over if you don't get enough light. I've noticed after getting this super powerful lamp and keeping it on for most of the day, my mood has been greatly elevated. I sleep a lot better. I have so much higher energy levels when working. The best part is that it's connected to a smart plug over there, so it automatically blazes on at 6 a.m. I can also turn it on and off using Alexa, turn on my daylight lamp. There you go. Out of everything here, this lamp is one of the best purchases I've ever made. I'd highly recommend some kind of seasonal affective disorder lamp. A lot of them are a lot cheaper than this one. The other lamp here is a Pixar style lamp. I think I got it off of Amazon after seeing it in a Jonathan Morrison video a few years back. It served me well over the years. Inside of it, we have a Philips Hue light and the rest of the lights in my room are also Philips Hue bulbs. I mainly love smart lights because in the evening, I'll turn them all to demon mode or dark red. It really improves my sleep and lets me see around the room without disturbing my melatonin production. These lights come on at 6 a.m. and combined with my daylight lamp, they give me a jump start to my day, which helps me get up and out of bed and in the gym. Okay, some extra items. First, we have this fake plant right here. It's nice to add some greenery to my room, even if it is a fake plant. Just trying to be another basic tech YouTuber. This clock right here is a very aesthetic looking alarm clock. Sometimes I will set it to beep, beep, beep at 6 a.m. So I have to get up and out of bed and turn it off. Though lately, I have fallen into the bad habit of using my Apple Watch alarm. This thing is just too easy to turn off without opening my eyes. So yeah, maybe I should use a physical alarm clock more consistently. Next, we have Theratier eye drops for dry eye. These are an absolute must if you have contacts and are working from home. My friends with contacts know the pain of constant dry eye. These really help me out and they also help with eye strain throughout the day. This chapstick here is the Burt's Bees vanilla flavored chapstick. I have like 10 of these around the house. Burt's Bees is by far the best lip balm because of this, my lips are never chapped. This is the Jawser size. Apparently you're supposed to put it in your mouth and chop down on it 10 to 15 times per day, three or four times. You're supposed to do it like this. 
It's supposed to give you a really defined jawline like Humza or Adonis. I used it for a week and I haven't used it since. This here is some kind of nasal decongestant cream. You unscrew it and then you take a finger and then rub it underneath your nose. It kind of burns a bit, but it opens up all of your sinuses so you can help nose breathe. Those of you whose noses are always blocked, I'd recommend having this next to your desk so you can easily open up at any time. Finally, we have a nice leather notebook here. It's got like pages that are dotted. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Probably not, but it's nice to physically write something down every once in a while. Though I found that I barely ever use it nowadays because everything is virtual. If you're interested in what a day in my life looks like as a remote software engineering intern where I use this desk, you can watch this video right here. Anyway, thank you for watching. A like would be incredible and I will see you in the next video.